Hi everybody, what's up? It's me, Jessica. Let's go ahead and get right into marching for today's lip class. I'll adjust my hand to hand to coming to you live from my favorite closet right here uh, in McLean. We've got a great short workout for you today. We're still focusing a lot on the upper body, things that are going to make you feel good as we come into the summer, making great choices like getting up right now and moving for yourself. Can you get your whole heel all the way down towards the floor? And if you've got some space, let's move a little bit forwards and backwards. This is a great time for you to collect your weights for today's workout. You can see the moves that we have coming up in the description. And the great news is everything is also standing. So you don't even need a mat. You just need to move your body. And you bring a smile to your face. And you think of something that you've done this week that you're proud of. Maybe it's showing up right now. Maybe you've shown up for yourself many days. Let's keep up with this march for just a couple more seconds. Finding some length through the crown of your head. Still getting those heels all the way down towards the floor. Remember, you can make this workout as intense as you want or need, whether that means using some nice heavy weights or maybe using no weights at all and just finding range of motion. Let's find a spot towards the back. Inhale your arms up overhead, quiet your feet for just a moment and find a nice knee drive. You can find a nasty knee drive if you want to, I'm not gonna judge. You can keep those knees driving towards the front and you can turn it a little side to side because we are gonna get into the obliques a little bit today the side body use your exhale each time that knee drives up you can be going just as fast as me or a little bit slower let's get 10 more nine eight seven six five four three two one now we're going to jack it out so whether you're stepping side to side or just tapping your toes or maybe getting a real jumping jack Whichever version you're going for, arms all the way up overhead and arms all the way down to your thighs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Arms relaxed by your side. We're going to go for Frankenstein kicks. So big kick forward, three steps, big kick to the other side. Keeping your chest up nice and high. You're finding the range of motion that works as you stretch your hamstring so maybe it's barely coming up off the floor here maybe it's coming up super high no we're not doing any hamstring focused moves today but we're desk people unfortunately so they're probably pretty tight i bet it feels good to warm them up can we get two more on each side great work the last ones Awesome. Give me a couple really big shoulder rolls, planting your feet down on the floor, shoulders up, back, and down. Two more in this direction. And then change directions. If you're feeling really tight, it's hard to move in this opposite direction. Maybe give me some individual sexy shoulder rolls. Get a little fun with it. Three more seconds. Two. One, feet together, bend your knees, inhale all the way up to the sky, stretch up from your waist, exhale, relax your arms and move yourself. Two more, bend your knees, inhale, arms up, exhale, arms down, squeeze, 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 shoulder blades together, get head back active. One more time, bend knees, inhale, arms up, relax your right hand down, take a big reach over to the right side with your left hand, inhale, arms up. Relax, arms down. Being kind to your morning shoulders. Arms both come up again. This time, the left hand comes down. Push your hips to the right. Woo! Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Beautiful. Shake it out. Go ahead, grab some water. Quick sip of water. Blood, blood, blood. Mine's a little old. I'm still going to drink it. Okay. First move that we have for today. Uh, we got five moves total. We're going to do 40 seconds of work. I got 15 seconds of rest to tell you what's coming up next. First up, we're going to go for those posture curls. Again, so maybe with your slightly lighter weight, we're starting with our elbows by our side. Palms up, 
45 degree angle. We're just rotating out towards the side. But while your hands rotate out, think about what's happening with your center line. So we don't want the rib cage to flare all the way out. You're knitting in from the center line, belly nice and tight and finding that range of motion. You'll feel it in your upper back. All right. And we're gonna keep our arms at 45 degrees. You might need some variety in your weights. We start in three, two, one. Here we go. So nice, quiet feet. Take a slight bend of your knees. This one is so good for our posture. So that while we're hanging out with friends this summer, at the pool, at a picnic, we can feel our best, whether we're sitting on the floor, standing around in the pool. Pretty optimistic considering how terrible the weather has been here this week. Clearly, you know what I'm looking forward to. All right, so you still have that slight bend in your knees, equally grounding weight through the heels. Make sure you're not overarching your low back. That might mean that your weights are a little too heavy. We got one second left. Relax your arms down. Shake it out as you need to. Now the challenge here is really how heavy your weights are. Next up, we're going to come back to the biceps we engage and just alternate a march right here. Are you ready? Shoulders down and back, belly in. Find that alternating knee drive march. You can hold your palms open like you're serving yourself because you are. You're amazing. You want to close your fist if that helps. That's great. You can hear I'm quietly working to bring uh, my foot down. And I'm also taking a really big wide march so that as my knee lifts up, my heel is under or in front of my knee, a little bit more challenging than if you're getting this little flamingo march. So just gonna make sure you got those options, y'all. Chest is lifted, belly in. Relax your arms down, put your weights down. We got push-ups against the wall. We're going for a tricep focused push-ups. Hands about in line with your chest. The closer you are to the wall, the easier it is. We're gonna bend our elbows. Chest is gonna come towards the wall. Forearms come towards the wall. Press yourself up. So you can stay really nice and simple right here, close to the wall. I want you to really push the base of your hands, palms in. I want you to feel that upper back. Activate, especially as you're pressing away. Can you see what a delightful straight line I'm trying to keep my body in? So everything's moving at the same time. I'm not letting my low belly come towards the wall. I'm bringing everything down together. And the closer you are towards the wall, the easier that's going to be. And as you start to feel stronger, hands can come down lower. You can get a little bit more engaged. I want you to find the range of motion that works for you. We got one more time through of that coming up. Next up, maybe a slightly heavier weight. You can hold on to just one or have one in each hand. We're gonna go for a side oblique crunch. Shoulders down and back, belly in. Here we go. Exhale as you reach down. Inhale as you lift up. Keeping it nice and simple today. You don't have to get on the floor at all. Just standing up, coming away from your desk, quickly finding some movement in the morning so you can feel so great about yourself. I love to exercise in the morning. Doesn't happen all the time. I know, it's challenging. Are you using that exhale to find that squeeze? But I do find when we exercise to start the day, we make so many better choices, whether it just means getting the movement out of the way, making more time for more exercise later, because why not take a break? Or for me particularly, I'm gonna make better choices in what I eat and what I drink, or what time I go to sleep, all that stuff, just because we're working out right now. All right, make sure there's not an overarch in the back. So a little squeeze of the glutes, shoulders down and back. We're staying nice and stacked. So we find our side oblique crunch. I got a pretty good range of motion. You might not be able to go quite as deep, and that's okay, because you're doing what works for your body today. Every day is different. All we gotta do is show up for ourselves. Great, keep going, we're almost there. Bring that smile back to your face. A little self-pride. <laughs> it's been a long week. Okay, put your weights down. We're coming right into 
the first move again, which is going to be those posture curls. I'm switching to the slightly lighter weights, elbows by your side, shoulders down and back, belly in, slight bend in your knees, that slight tuck of your pelvis. And here we go. Curl into the side. Using the exhale for the hard part. You're a little bit more warmed up. So maybe you find you have a little extra range of motion for opening those hands. And the biceps are still working even right here. And we're going to work again while we're just holding at 45 degrees. And we march. Like a good combo move. How about you? Almost there, almost there, last time through. We did it. Take a moment, you can relax your arms down. You can shake it out. Shoulders down and back. Come back to your 45 degree angle with that nice little serving motion. Chest really lifted here as well, belly pulled in. Find your knee drive march. I'm moving nice and slow, staying in control here. Try not to shift too much from side to side. It's going to happen a little bit, but I'm trying to de-emphasize any sort of extra rocking or swaying. And each time my knee lifts, I'm using the exhale to make it happen. We're almost there. Is your chest still lifted? Did your shoulders start to round forward at all? If so, that might mean your weight's a little bit too heavy, and that's okay. We're here to challenge ourselves. Release those weights down. Yay! Coming back to our push-ups against the wall. And your wall. You ready? Remember, our elbows are going to come in close. And then press yourself back up. If you want even more triceps, you can make your hands closer together. Nice little diamond push-up. Feel that in your upper back, still working on coming down in a nice straight line. So I know I keep looking towards you because I'm a polite lady, but I want you to keep your eye gaze forward, keep the wrinkles out of your neck the best that you can. And just work in the range of motion where your body is still like a nice, solid piece of wood, long shoulders away from your ears, belly in. You got it. We're almost there. Do you remember which side you started with? Take a break for our oblique crunches. Let's start with the other side this time. So we're starting with the side that we finished on. Shoulders down and back, belly in, chest up. There we go. Exhale, find that crunch. Inhale, lift. Moving a little bit slower this time. Holding in that end range of motion to really squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Still making sure, though, that my lower abs are engaged. I'm trying not to collapse too much also. So you can see that I'm really working to keep my shoulders stacked. That I'm not rotating forward as I make that crunch. We're almost there. You got it. Keep going. Do you have some length through the crown of your head? Wrinkles out of your neck. Awesome. Get ready. Last move, last side. Here we go. Shoulders down and back, belly in, slight bend in your knees, and begin. I'm starting the second move. You know why? Because I'm worth it. I hope that you felt like you were worth it. Exhale, exhale, get all the stare, stale air out. We're almost there. Keep pulling your lower belly in. Thank goodness it's Friday. I'd love to hear about what sorts of exercise or activities you plan to get into this weekend. Yay, let's go ahead and put those weights down, come on back to a march. Let's march it out. Keep moving those arms, marching forward and backwards. If you have the space, we're just gonna gently work to bring those heart rates down to find a little bit more range of motion here too. Relaxing your shoulders. 
One more time, forward and back. Great work. Awesome. Plant your feet here in the back. Bend your knees. Inhale your arms all the way up overhead. Reach, reach, reach. Shoulders away from ears. Stretch up from your waist and exhale. Arms down by your side. Let's do two more just like that. Bend your knees as generously as you want. Inhale, arms up. Stretch from your waist. Exhale, arms down. Ooh, we got one more. Here we go. Bend your knees. Inhale, arms up. Keep your left arm up to the sky. Right hand relaxes down. Find that big side body reach. Maybe you can just work to stack your shoulders. Inhale, right arm up. Keep both arms up. A little extra challenge here at the end. Left arm comes down. Find that big reach either to the sky or adding your side body reach. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Stretch your knuckles down towards the floor. Nice little stretch under the chest. Hands can be right by your glutes, so you can challenge yourself to see if you can bring your hands away from your glutes. A little extra stretch. Carefully release. Interlace your hands in front of you. Push your hands, palms forward. Get that nice stretch through your upper back, through your shoulders. Inhale, arms up one more time. Exhale, arms down by your side. Now, we're just going to swing gently side to side. So feet stay planted. You can even bring your heels, toes, neck to each other, a little bang in the drum, a little rotation through your core. We're going to stop on one side for a nice standing side twist in three, two, one. Let your hands stick to your body and stretch down towards the floor, shoulders away from your ears, shoulder blades feet together. Look over your shoulder, whichever shoulder your chin was closer to, and towards the back wall. Release carefully, untwist, bang the drum one more time. We're going to turn and twist to the opposite side. One more standing side body twist in three, two, one. Find the other side, stick your hands to your body, stretch them down towards the floor, shoulders away from your ears, chest lift, shoulder blades squeeze, belly pulled in tight, length through the crown of your head. Exhale, look over your opposite shoulder. Awesome. Release one more time back to center. Bang the drums. Find your stillness. Inhale your arms up overhead. Exhale. Take any stretch that you want to. Maybe even really pressing the walls away from you a little bit more. Engagement through your back, into your forearms. Relax your fingers down by your side. Stretch them all the way down to the floor. Shoulders down, back, belly in. Slight tuck of your pelvis as we decompress our shoulders take one more big inhale exhale let it go we made it everyone oh my gosh and we have two minutes to spare even better thank you all so much for coming today i hope you're so proud of yourself for getting up for doing something can't wait to see you a little bit later and so much more next week have a wonderful rest of your time